Hi, I'm Chen. Let's watch the video and learn about North American porcupine. The North American porcupine, Erethus endorsatum, also known as the Canadian porcupine, is a large quill-covered rodent in the New World porcupine family. It is the second largest rodent in North America, after the North American beaver, Castor canadensis. The porcupine is a caviomorph rodent whose ancestors crossed the Atlantic from Africa to Brazil 30 million years ago, and then migrated to North America during the Great American Interchange after the Isthmus of Panama arose 3 million years ago. 1. Etymology the word, porcupine, comes from the Middle or Old French word porcespin, which means thorn pig. Its roots derive from the Latin words porcus or pig and spina meaning thorns. Other colloquial names for the animal include quill pig. It is also referred to as the Canadian porcupine or common porcupine. The porcupine's scientific name, Erethysen dorsatum can be loosely translated as, the animal with the irritating back. 2. Description. Porcupines are usually dark brown or black in color, with white highlights. They have a stocky body, a small face, short legs, and a short, thick tail. This species is the largest of the New World porcupines and is the second largest North American rodent, after the American beaver. The head and body length is 60 to 90 centimeters, not counting a tail of 14.5 to 30 centimeters. The hind foot length is 7.5 to 9.1 centimeters. Weight can range from 3.5 to 18 kilogram. Weight in adult females can average some 7 kilograms while five wild-caught males averaged 10.67 kilogram. The porcupine is the only native North American mammal with antibiotics in its skin. Those antibiotics prevent infection when a porcupine falls out of a tree and is stuck with its own quills upon hitting the ground. Porcupines fall out of trees fairly often because they are highly tempted by the succulent buds and twigs at the ends of the branches. The porcupine, the wolverine and the skunk are the only North American mammals that have strongly contrasting black and white coloration. Because they are the only mammals that benefit from letting other animals know where and what they are in the dark of night. 1.1 Quills The most distinguishing feature of the porcupine is its coat of quills. An adult porcupine has about 30,000 quills that cover all of its body except its underbelly, face, and feet. Quills are modified hairs formed into sharp, barbed, hollow spines. They are used primarily for defense, but also serve to insulate their bodies during winter. The quills are normally flattened against the body and in this position are less easily dislodged. Porcupines do not throw their quills, but when threatened contract superficial muscles which cause the quills to stand up and out from their bodies. In this position they become easier to detach from the body, especially when the tail is swung toward an attacker. The barbs at the end of the spines lodge in the flesh of a victim and are difficult and painful to remove. 1.2 Stench the North American porcupine has a strong odor to warn away predators, which it can increase when agitated. The smell has been described as similar to strong human body odor, goats, or some cheeses. The odor is generated by a patch of skin called the rosette, on the lower back where modified quills serve as osmetrichia to broadcast the smell. The characteristic odor comes from the R enantiomer of delta decalactone. Not present is the S enantiomer which smells like coconut and is used in flavorings and perfumes. 3. Taxonomy and Evolution The North American porcupine migrated from South America, where all New World porcupines or hystricomorphs evolved. 
Arathizan appeared in North America shortly after the two continents joined together in the later Tertiary period. Other hystricomorphs also migrated. But Arathizan was the only one to survive north of Mexico. No known fossils are attributed to hystricomorphs prior to the late Tertiary period. Some fossils, such as species from the family Paramyidae, show resemblance to the porcupine, but they are so primitive and generalized that they could be ancestors to all later rodents. 4. Subspecies. Seven subspecies of E. dorsatum are recognized. They are subdivided by different ranges across North America. By far the most common is E. d. dorsatum, which ranges from Nova Scotia to Alberta and from Virginia to the Yukon. E. d. piscinum occupies a small range in northeastern Quebec and Labrador. E. d. Cuesi is the most southern ranging from northern Mexico to Colorado. E. D. Bruneri can be found in the Midwest from Arkansas to Montana. The last three are found in the West. From south to north they are E. D. Epixanthum, E. D. Nigrescens, and E. D. Myops.